Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Um, this one here we're going to do is a short splice. I've got two ends of a piece of rope and I'm going to splice them two together. Uh, for one of them, I've colored the three strands just to help identify them. The other thing I've got here is a fid, a Swedish fid. They find, um, I find them quite helpful. And I've also got a piece of cord here just to, to help keep everything together. So what I'm going to do is unwind probably about four inches of this side. Probably do. I'll do. I'll do the same on the other one. So this is quite small rope. If you were doing a, a, a thicker rope, you'd probably need to, a bit more. Uh, so the next thing to do is to marry these up so that each one, uh, each one going from right to left is in between uh, the ones that are going from left to right. So if you see, they all take turns uh, and they're all interlocked. So the next thing I'm going to do is just do a quick clove hitch. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to start. We're going to start by bringing these ones here and we're going to go over and under as we go. So I'll start off with the green one. So it's going to go over this first one like that and under this second one. So I probably could make a gap in here. I'll use the fit just to show you how we use it. So there's a gap there. Now if I wanted to, I could tape these ends. That'll stop it from fraying. So that's one. If I rotate it round, we've got this red one. I'll do that one next. So the red one is going to go over this one and under this one. I put that in there. There we go. That's one, two, and the next one is the blue one. So that's going to go over this one. under this one and comes out there, come out there where the red one is. So just make a gap there. There we go. So that's the first go, the first part of the splice. So we've got the blue and that goes out where the red one goes in. And the red one goes in there, comes out here, and that comes out where the green one goes in. And the green one goes in there, comes out there, and that's where the blue one goes in. Okay. Also, the thing we can check is that all of these are at the same level. So, as a, and that's what I mean is if this one and this one is okay, but if this one had already been up here, we know that that one's in the wrong place. Okay, so that's one done. And as we start off with the green, we'll do the same again. So this time it's gonna go over this one and under that one. So with splices, it's always a over under with this type of splice. There we go. That's the green done. Let's do the blue. So the blue goes over this one 
under this one. Okay, and then the red one's going to go over this one and under this one so it comes out where this green one is. So that's number two. Okay, yep, all at the same level. We'll do number three. So starting off with a green. Let's do the purple next. That's about the purple, the blue. Looks a bit purpley. And lastly, the red. So that's that side done. Now there's a few few things we can finish that off with. Now what we could do, if there was loads of it left, we could taper it off. So what we'd do, we'd untwist some of these and I'd go, right, well there's five strands. So I'll take two of them away, I'd cut them off and feed these three through to the next one. And then once to the next one, I'd take probably another one away and feed the last two through. And then at the end, I'd cut the two off so they'd so do you taper down. I'll do the same thing for the blue as I go through, cut a couple off, cut another one, maybe one left or something, and the same thing for the red, and it'll work its way down. So what we'll do now is turn around and we'll go the other way. So what we could do now, if we can take that out of the way. And let's go for this one. So these aren't colored. This is what you probably would deal with, it's just three normal colours. But you can see, we'll start off with this one going over the green. Like that. I don't know if you notice, but going this way, because it's the it's a Z laid rope, so it means it goes from this way down. Okay. Like a, like a letter Z across down that way. If it was an S, it'd be the other way around. So the lines would be going that way. So this is Z laid, it's this way. So as we're tying it, uh, we're splicing it, this rope comes down this way against the lines. And this side, because we, the lines are still going this way, um, this rope will be going upwards. So this side's going downwards. And this side's going upwards. So that one's that one done. And I'm going to do this one. And then lastly, this one. So let's double check, make sure I'm happy. Give it a little bit of a pull. Yeah, one coming out of each gap. And I can carry on. 
doesn't matter which order you start with really as long as you only do this three and then move on afterwards don't try and do one multiple times it gets too confusing Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, um, I was always told to, to roll this. Um, if it's small stuff, you could probably roll it between your hands. But anything bigger, you probably put it on the floor, put your foot over it and just roll like that. And that will flatten it all out. And then we can cut the ends. So I'll do that now. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm trying to save a bit of rope here. So I've only used a short piece. If you're practicing, I suggest you have a longer piece with leave these ends longer as well. Uh, and the last thing to do is to just cut all these off or like I said, taper them if you want to. And that is it. So I'll cut that now. Okay, so that's all the ends cut. And uh, yeah, hope you... Uh, Hope you enjoy the video and have a go at splicing. <laughs> 